I was just organizing on the plane, realized that that camera is missing, and Max and I were like, that's gone. It's literally gone. There's no way. <laughs> it looks like beads. <laughs> That one looks like something. <laughs> Dang, it's nice to be back in Texas, bro. It really is. It's no one knows you left, but yeah. Well, it's been like what two weeks? Yeah, you've been gone for a minute. It's been like it feels like a month, but true. Two weeks. What's up, Rigo? Come on, get up here. Welcome back. Well, to the I mean, first ever. <laughs> to the first. <laughs> well, fellas. We got some coffee. We got Rico in the middle, chilling. And this is our first ever podcast. Next door. Next door is Colin, slacking. Not editing. Definitely not working. No, he's not working at all. But yeah, this is the first ever podcast of, I don't know what we're calling it. I guess we're calling it the candy shop. The shop. The shop, something like that. We kind of want to go over what the podcast will be about, what what we'll talk about as like a kind of general Overview. A, we want to be trying different candies, international candies, just all sorts of candies. We want to be doing a candy taste test whenever we can. Also, just talking to people like Steve, having them in on maybe the candy trying. That'd be kind of fun to have yes. Steve in there on that. Steven loves some candy. Um, I guess telling stories about the shop and a little behind the scenes of what's going on at the candy shop, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and updates and stuff like that. Just what, yeah, just, just kind of whatever we feel. Whatever just hits the table. We're not really specific on topics or like what our genre will be, but I mean, pretty much is this is just random. Yeah, it's just going to be whatever we think of. We'll sit down. I think we want to post like once a week. That's the goal. Yeah. So we'll just sit down. Whatever we're doing that week, we'll probably give you guys an update of the week. We'll try to keep it creative for you guys because I know there's a lot of podcasts and there's, you know... You got to find a reason to watch us and why we'll be different. I, I, I know that we'll be trying candies. That'll be our like shtick. Yeah. Uh, I don't freaking know, but. Okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about what did you think of the UK? Dude, I will say for sure it was better than last year. How so? I actually enjoyed Liverpool. It was nice. Scotland was nice as well too. Um, <clears throat> The weather actually wasn't as bad as like last year's. So it was just like. Literally, it rained, what, two days on us? Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, that's that was the biggest thing for me is I feel like, well, I had a whole other experience last year where I was getting off of a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> prescription drug, and it was a whole thing. It was a whole ordeal. So I was kind of like in my own world, cold turkeying. Well, bro, you lost your stuff too. Well, they lost your yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I lost all my clothing. So we, we had night and day, it was better from the get-go for me. Dude. But the weather also was better to this time. It was like... We had nice days last time, but I think towards the end last year, it got like kind of gloomier. Yeah. I mean, did we get more content this year than last year? I feel like we oh, did. Yeah. Because we also had cameras this year too. That is true. <laughs> last year we had, we didn't. everything got swiped from us. We just had nothing. Yeah. Just and so like Rick was nice enough to get us a camera. Like we've already said. You know, he he literally bought a camera for himself that he let us use, but we were severely limited with what we could do last year. And this year, it just felt like we it felt like a normal good good week yeah. in the U.S. It just felt like we flew there, you know, and were able to do whatever we wanted. Plus, Scotland, I think, was a nice different vibe. It was. It was. There was more like town around it. We can go explore a little bit. So it didn't feel like it didn't feel as secluded. Well, I didn't explore. I was freaking stuck in the you little freaking stuck. lodge. You could have gone. I didn't know. Everybody just did their own thing after filming. True. But other than that, they're just tracers, to be honest, after filming. And it, I think the content's better this year, personally. Just we had, again, more options because um, we weren't like as limited. So we could kind of just get creative with the ideas. And I know that we're not even done with the content yet, but yeah. it's just been as far as like just the variety. Like we did the wheel no ideal with Rick and uh, T flip hasn't been posted yet, but it's coming up and like just the fun stuff that we, I feel like last year was very serious. We did a major and that was really good. Yeah. But this year we have, you know, the full good, good variety of content, which is nice. 
I will say though, last year what was cool is like we stayed at what was it, JBC or <laughs> JCB? JCB, yeah. Frick, I am getting mixed up. It was nice. It was cool because it was closed and we had the whole week pretty much to film, mm-hmm. and we didn't film as much as we did like this year. Yeah. So it's just like <clears throat> that was cool. But this year I enjoyed it a lot. A lot more videos we got out of this trip, and then the other thing that I really enjoyed was the train trip. Dude, that was <laughs> freaking awesome. Have you been on like a train trip like that before? No, never in my life. Have you ridden a train before? Yeah, though? I've been on a train, but like one of those, like, you know, just like not like back in Belton, they had like this old train to take you like from like Belton to I think Raymore and then back. Gotcha. So it's just a small little yeah, trip. Yeah. No, that was different. It was like it had like the smoother suspension. I don't know enough about trains, but like it felt so smooth. Um, was it electric? I don't know if it was electric or diesel. Whatever it was, it felt so smooth and like futuristic compared to what I've ridden before. Because I rode similar to you. Like it was, I think it was the Amtrak from Kansas City to Chicago. Yeah. And it was way slower. It was like, it took like six or more hours to get there, which I don't know what that is compared to driving that distance. Yeah. But it's definitely slower than the, what could have been. Because the, the UK ones are moving like 100 miles an hour. Dude. So they're like cooking. It's just super smooth. I think it's my favorite way of traveling. Like, and free Wi-Fi. Yeah, you get the Wi-Fi. You just set up shop, work on some edits, <laughs> hang out. That was that whole experience was amazing. Like, Again, like we said, we were able to explore this time in the UK. Like, Oh, yeah, for sure. And just kind of, yeah, Dude. just explore, like do the train ride. We just did that for fun. We were supposed to take a bus down there but we were like screw let's take a (laughs) let's take a train and it ended up being a hilarious vlog dude and yeah it was fun i also enjoyed like the outdoor mall that was literally right next to our hotel so we literally walked what like probably 10 minutes max to get there Mm -hmm. and it was just cool like it was huge it was probably like uh what's it called the one in kansas the the, out, the outdoor mall outlet. Oh, like Legends? The Legends, but it's a little bit bigger. Than, I feel like it was a little bit bigger than Legends. Yeah, I'd like to know what that place is called. It's like, it was like the out, like an outlet mall. Not even an outlet mall. Kinda. It was. I, I feel like it was because it had like two floors. In downtown Liverpool. Yeah. And it was all outdoors. And it was freaking nice. And it was packed every day. Yeah. And it that's what crazy. we noticed is like in the U.S. and the, on the weekends, it gets stuff packed. It's like a wave. Stuff starts popping off in the weekend. Starts getting busy, but there on like a Tuesday, Thursday, every, whenever we went there, it was like packed as if it mm-hmm. was the weekend. Um, which I don't know if like work weeks are different <laughs> or something, I but no clue. Or people were just. I mean, it's just. It's also in the heart of Liverpool, right there. So. Yeah. It was just. It was really cool. The walk, like you said, the walkability was nice to be able to, go and kind of explore every day after we filmed and vlogged and all that it just was it felt like we had some freedom i felt trapped the first time around dude i know i just felt like i I was on a bus then at a (laughs) place and it was cool at the golf courses but it was like on a bus or car yeah new place hotel film hotel film hotel it wasn't the same so this was by far more and i think it, it comes across in the videos like everyone was having a good time and you can tell that everyone's having a good time. <laughs> They're kind of goofing around more. It's, it feels more like OG content. It feels yeah. more loose and more fun. I will say the freaking St. Andrew's Day, the one where we filmed like the the major, and it rained on us so bad. Oh yeah, and that was the worst. <laughs> dude, that was the worst. <laughs> it was like highs and lows. Like it was like yeah. amazing, and that was. They don't. The guy. Ever no one has seen this yet, but we filmed a second major, which we've talked about before. Uh, we've already told the people, I think. But yeah, we have a second major coming out uh, later on, and it, we got rained on. So I don't know if that's a spoiler. The good thing is, like, we had, like, was it backup cameras after backup cameras? Oh, yeah. No, we came prepared. Like, we had, yeah. we took, <laughs> we had our checked bag with our cameras, our main cameras, but then we had carry ons that had main cameras in there, yeah. too. So we had more than enough cameras, uh, and we just had, like, doubles of everything just in case. Dude, we made sure we were freaking ready because last yeah. time we had no cameras. We only had what the cannons. We only had the vlog cameras, so like the DSLR cannons, and n- we had zero finger flickers. No way of filming like good zooms. 
So again, shout out to Rick. He was a legend and hooked us up. But this time we had so much. It just, yeah, it was almost too much. We had a million SD cards, a million microphones, a million everything. We were not going to mess up again no. with that whole opportunity, which come to think of it, we've been kind of risky. Like in Dubai, we didn't, we didn't really have redundancies. We just had, I think we just had what we had. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we had it on the Pelican yeah. and checked it. We didn't do the same thing as the UK. I don't know why we didn't. We, I feel like we should have done that anytime international. I think we should do that where we have a backup set in our backpack. But I think, know? I think we didn't do that just because like we didn't land like say when we went to UK, we landed in London. And then from London, we went oh, to, to yeah. freaking like Manchester, Liverpool. We just went directly to Dubai. Yeah. But that's true. Yeah, because liver or uh, Heathrow is where it all got lost for us. Which I mean, it was on public. It was like very public that Heathrow yeah. was bad, and I think it's gotten better since then. And it happened again when we got back. The guys didn't have none of their clubs until like a that week. was actually uh, where were we? That was actually the Manchester airport that messed up. Dang. But that was kind of on us, but also not on us. We were late. We weren't early enough to our check in. True, but I mean, bro, we were we were still pretty early. We we're over two hours early. We were f- cutting it. We were cutting it close. We, we were ran cutting it in really close. That that was. I don't think we. I don't know what we vlogged of that. Yeah, but when we were yeah when we were flying out of UK, that was a mug. We <laughs> well, bro. When <clears throat> well, obviously you know, shout out Kendrick for giving me a separate ticket. But, you know, everybody was, like, in one solid group. <clears throat> and since I was booked last, I was booked, like, separate. So I was in no, like, reservation with, like, anyone. So I was able to... Steve pulled me up because I think he was separate, too. Was he? Or was he with Steve? The, yeah. I don't know who was in what. I, I know that... I think he was on his own because he maybe messed with his seats or something. But yeah. I was with Bubby and Colin and L- Luke. Mm-hmm. That might be it. So then he, Steve pulls me through the line because the line was long, dude. They were taking like forever, like checking bags. Steve pulls me up. I go up. I get my bags checked. And I was like, I think Steve was like, just go, go. And I was like, should I wait? He's like, just go. And I was like booking it to like through like security and stuff. And mm-hmm. it was huge. It was pro- I'll probably say like 10 minutes like to wait <laughs> through security. And I was like. And I was like talking to the security guys, like, bro, I got a, I got a flight in like freaking like less than five minutes. They had no sympathy either. They're like, you should have been here earlier then. No, he's like, he's like, can I see your ticket? I was like, look at it, bro. I got to He go. helped you? Yeah. He's like, he opened up the, like the little, the little gate deal. And he's like, just go up to the front. I was like, I will say they did that for us too. Cause I, I did the same thing by the time, like when we noticed, cause me, Colin and uh, Kendrick were like the last yeah. people and we, I I was like, I was like not raging, but I just had no, I was being very short. Like I just walked past a bunch of people and went to the guy <laughs> and I was like, listen, we were about to miss this flight. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. And he was like, uh, yeah, you guys are going to miss it. Like he was like not confident that we were going to make the yeah. flight. And then he did the same. He put us right to the metal detector thing, yep. the x-ray machine, whatever. And, uh, then that took forever, which was a whole thing. Did you get your bag like taken back or was it fine? No, my bag was fine. I told you to give me the bag. Remember when I was like, I'll take the bag and you're Dude, like, we got screwed. I had like two I bags saw and they telling. took everything out and put it back through. And then when they put it back through, it got sent back to them again. Jeez. So like on top of us having like five minutes, we were getting like our bags torn through because it always happens with the camera equipment. They see all the like big batteries. metal pieces and batteries and things, and they don't like it. Mm-hmm. But that was like a different level of just, just I don't know. It just felt like torture. We were like, "What is going on? This is like a is yeah. this even real life right now." And we ran on. Everyone was like glaring at us when we got on the plane because we were those people causing it to be a little bit late. But we still made it. We though. made it. We freaking made it. The crazy thing is like I like. I w- walked into the plane. I sat down on my seat, and then I was like, "What was it, Matt and Brittany? Like they left like way long before us." Mm-hmm. And thinking that they would like show up earlier, I sat down and I looked around to see like if anyone else got on. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, like 
I just saw like Matt and Brittany just walking. I was like, what the? I was like, I thought they were already here. And then all of a sudden, like, I just like, probably How did like, you beat them. I don't know. Oh, because you cut through the line. Probably so. But then I just kept on seeing like Bubby walk in, Steven. It was all of our group. And then all, like Max and Colin at the end. And I was like, holy cow. They're like, yeah, they sent my bag two times through the x-ray machine. Yeah. And I was like, geez. But other than the, like, I don't know why. Honestly, I think we should have taken a train. It worked out. Yeah. We should have had like one flight in to the UK and one fly out, flight out in my opinion. Like, yeah. For just to avoid all issues with bags. But I mean, I didn't set up the flights and it, it worked out fine. Like we got, everyone got their bags back. We're all good. So yeah, it was all in all a much smoother trip than last year. And again, I think, like I said, I think since we had everything, we were just all more comfortable and the content ends up being better because of that. True. So I've been really happy with the content we've been putting out. Um, and then we, <laughs> next up we have the road trip, which I don't want to get too deep into. I don't want to reveal too much, but it will be. It'll be something. It'll be something. <laughs> It'll be something. We're leaving this Friday this to go on it. This Friday, man. And it's going to be, I sound like Rick. It's going to be epic. <laughs> I can't even do that. <laughs> Mega. Mega. <laughs> but it will be. I think it will be. I think it'll be like another level. Hello, Steven. I apologize for deleting your Grace video. Where did that come from? Huh? That came from nowhere. I know. <laughs> no, but yeah, <laughs> Steve. Yeah, but good for him. Well, oh, we have to move on to our next segment, which is the candy trying segment. Oh, go ahead, bro. Your co your co host too, bro. Colin's a co host. No, that's that's Abby's little treat for us. It's kind of like, dang, you about to eat it all? Look at you. <laughs> you don't have to like it. It's fine, <laughs> Abby. You don't have to eat it. To Rico. That's bad. Blueberries are bad for pugs, I think. I don't know. Yeah, you about to have the Hershey squirts. All right. Can you... Do you want to get the bag? I'll get the bag. I love my... What oh. <laughs> Here goes nothing, boy. Damn, that thing peaks real bad. Wait. What's your planned clickbait for this episode? Clickbait is... I feel like that should be a segment on the podcast is what's the clickbait going to be for the... The clickbait... Holy bock of candy. Damn, we gotta hold that up for the camera to see. I can't even see it. Dang, look at that. I shows I'm eating in the mic. Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> also, it's Damn, very like, on the cord. Damn. Damn son. No, I was gonna say I feel like a clickbait. Um, You're just getting a, covered by Luis, I think, on the camera. A potential clickbait could be that we almost lost the most important. Look at you making a mess, bro. God dang, this thing's crumbly. I just cleaned up the freaking couch. Damn. Continue. Rico. Rico, get the fuck out of here. We almost lost the Wait, one of the most important be? videos from the UK. That's a story that I didn't tell. Because I, I did hear you guys were talking about how, like, we almost had too much. Like, we had SD cards everywhere. Yeah. Like, we definitely had too much. And it was just, when you're on those trips and you're backing up footage, it when there's go, three GoPros, we had some of the days... Do we have four cannons that day or just three? We had we had four cannons. We started with four cannons and we, we had lost a vlog two. camera. Rico's Rico? about to eat everything on your crotch. Uh we had like and you mean like too much is in too much camera equipment. Damn. It's crumbly. <laughs> it just loud this thing's not like when you touch it, you can hear everything when it's moved around. <laughs> Sorry. No, but what you're saying, like, we had we would have, I think some of the days we had four Canons, and then we had like a vlog, Panasonic, and a vlog, Sony. Like we would have at some point like six cameras with some GoPros. There's like, I think some of the days there was like nine SD cards yeah. that we had to deal with. The drone, whenever we could. And yeah, you can tell the story. We were on the plane on the way back. Mm -hmm. I was like going through and organizing some of the footage because we just kind of drop every day on SD cards and then organize after, which is also probably not smart, but that's just kind of how it gets done. Yeah. And I was going through and I realized that we were missing a camera from the day we filmed at St. Andrews. Um, Rum row. And which was at that point, like six days before, like 
because we yeah. were flying back from the UK, which was yeah. like, that was a week after we filmed in St. Andrews or whatever, or maybe like five days. So we had tossed around SD cards. Like, I mean, we were using stuff, formatting stuff. And we format every, like, usually every day we double check, format, but yeah, sorry, I'm cutting you off. But no, it, yeah. I was just organizing on the plane, realized that that camera is missing and Max and I were like, that's gone. It's literally gone. There's no way. And I opened up my camera bag, reached out, and there was a couple SD cards in my camera bag, like on like the top little compartment. And I was like, please, just like, I just sat there and just had a moment and just said, please, for the love of everything, <laughs> just be on that. And you gave it a kiss. You're like, I literally kissed the SD card and I plugged it in and it was the right, it was literally it was the, the SD card one. with the footage we needed and it was just a small miracle. So... Yeah. We almost lost a very important taste of footage. Dude, because that was like, that was the knockout at St. Andrews plus like part of the St. Andrews major. Yeah. It was a huge, it would have been a that giant That would have been hole. on me. I mean. Back to the candy. Back to the candy reviews. On to the next segment. <laughs> that was good. That was your clickbait segment of the day. Hey, you're going to pick up your crumbs? This is for Rico. Damn, that's going to poison Dang, him. Dang, always making a mess, dude. Look at you! Look at you! You gotta set the stage of what this is, where it's from, who <coughs> gave it to you. What, right. what? What is it? All this is from Mexico. My parents just got back from Mexico. So, open this bad boy up. <laughs> These are like, I don't know what they're called, but they're good. We don't really have a good way of zooming in and showing people this stuff. But. Well, all right. So we got these. What in the world is this? These are. Cacahuates estilo japonés, which means just like Aww. Japanese nuts. Japanese nuts? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they've had these before these in, are the, good. in the gas station by our candy shop here. Oh, these are like spicy ones, though. No, nah, they're not spicy. They're good. I mean, try whatever. Let's keep going through this thing. There's a lot, brother. There's a load of fun. These mothers are good. Colin will love these popsicles. Popsicles, lollipops. What is this? These are really good. They're uh, tarrito, which is, is just that? like, uh, dude, try it, try it. They're really good. Come on, come and try this. I know you'll like this one. We need like a, I need like a mount it's for these sucker. microphones. So it's a sucker, but what is? Why does it look like a beer? Just try it. Alcohol? No, it has no alcohol, bro. All right, you're not going to be able to see this thing. There's no way of showing it to the people with our current setup, but this is called the, how do I say it, Tarito? It smells awful. No, it's not awful. Try it. It smells like piss. Bro, just try it. Oh, what is that flavor? I've had that before. What is that? It smells weird. It's, it smells weird, but it, it tastes good. It's mango. Is it? I don't. I didn't check the freaking. Right, I do. I'm just. He's it's feeding for us. you guys. He's feeding us right now. These are good too. Manitas, adivinas. How do you know? Oh, let's go back to this. What is the flavor? I'm not seeing a. I see a. Whoa, the top has some stuff on. That's what I'm saying. Is it fizzy? It's like a little bit fizzy. Dude, they be creative. <laughs> see, and this this guy said he, it smelled bad. Now he likes it. You might like this one too. Damn! All right, Colin's in for the candy portion. You about to finish this in like two days. Yeah, me... You brought like the biggest bag of candy here. Yeah, I asked my mom. I was like, "Yo, can I just have like a couple candies?" She just gave me a big old stash. So you never told us the flavor. So I am trying to read, brother. Read it. Uh, what the? F Where is it, dude? It does not say the flavor. What the heck? We just got laced. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's good. I'm going to set it right here. You know how nasty that is? <laughs> well, we have so many. You give me a lollipop. What do you want? I don't know. Something I can taste and then be done with. Oh, so you just want something quick. What is this? Is this a watermelon sucker? Yeah, but that one has like... Uh, dude, those are really good. It has it's like... Gummy or is it... No, 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 no. It's a sucker with like... Not that... Uh, should I say tajin? Yeah, it looks like tajin. A little bit tajin, a little bit spicy. Ooh, I'm going to try that. That was good, though. Let's see. This thing looks like it's 
It looks oh, like it's been going. Oh, oh, it's like someone links. drug a lollipop through a, like the sand. Bruh. <laughs> it does have some spice to it. <laughs> you gotta wait. <laughs> Damn, why you gotta just fucking bite it, dude? Oh, that's good. It's good, dude. This is better than that. Okay, okay. This one is good. Here's some chocolate. Try some of this shit. Dang, I feel like freaking. What's his name? These okay. Nico my... avocado. What is he eating a bunch of candy? <laughs> oh, dude, we gotta keep some just to like for every day to like taste. Uh, but try this one. I I forgot right. what they're called, but they look like, like whoppers. <laughs> That's good. It's like coffee. Why is it in an unlabeled sack? No, it's because my mom had a big bag. And she kept some of it, and she poured some in this bag. Okay, you're not drugging me? Why would I drug you? <laughs> Possibly. Wait, you didn't give an expl- They look like Whoppers, but what <clears throat> are these? Do you know? I do not know. Those I do not know. I did not look at the bag. <clears throat> yeah, these are in a Ziploc bag. But these are my favorite. These freaking nuts. Yeah, we've had probably the exact same ones. Yeah, the, but the, I think the other ones are like the blue, the blue bag. All right, what else we got here, dude? There's so there's much. There's so this much bag. stuff in this. These are really good. This has like gum in it. <laughs> Everything you're like, these are really good. Those are the best, brother. <laughs> the mango ones. These are also in a sack. They could be drugs. No, those those are mango like chewies with uh, what I say like, you've had those before. Yeah, those are really good. Those are freaking good, too. So, I've been getting Abby because... Holy spicy! <laughs> <laughs> no one knows this. I don't think anyone knows this or cares, but we're next to the gas station that has a bunch of, like, random candy. Yeah. Mexican candy. Stuff like that. Dude, I'm surprised for a gas station that I, they have a good Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That could be a whole portion of the podcast is like our habitual use of or one that day restaurant. You know what? For the next podcast we just go buy food, sit down, do a little food review. Food review. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so but that so they we you've kind of like opened my eyes to the the Mexican style candy. Like the gushers are my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they cannot be legal. To, for like recent Like literally they're selling gushers That yeah. have been like opened And then put in a container And then put in a container with like Is it tahine and like Tahine um, What's that Something look? super sticky Yeah it's that freaking ah, Man I forgot the freaking name of it But it's uh It's like right here But I just f Don't remember the name of the freaking uh, Tip of the tongue uh, yeah. Let me see if I can switch it up real quick Anyways, that you while you look it up, those are my favorite. They're like gushers. I'll put them on the screen or something. Like they're just kind of like messed with gushers. <laughs> they got spice on them. They're a little bit of sweet and spicy. Uh, they're hard to eat. Chamoy. It's chamoy. Chamoy is what they put in. Put in is that red like sticky stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's chamoy. It it gives it like a flavor. It's, it's like good. It's not spicy, but it gives you like a sweet flavor. So chamoy with tahine, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, when we were at that meetup in uh, Arizona, and they gave us those bags, dude, those were good. They need to get that at the freaking gas station with this uh, skittles. <sighs> Didn't they have skittles in that? Yeah. Oh my god. I forgot to bring the freaking bags. I left them at the Airbnb. That's fine. I mean, well, to, uh, shout out you, whoever that was, uh, who gave them to us. Here, I actually did I. I think you I saved his info. Yeah, I think so. Wait, hold on. What is this? I don't know, but try this one. This one's like a uh, caramel. <laughs> this looks like caramel too. Try that one too. This is caramel. Try whatever you want. This one's called <clears throat> Dammy. Let me see. Yeah, Dammy. Something like that. Damn, Dammy. Is it chewy? No. You just go straight for the bite. Oh, <laughs> that is delicious. It's like chocolate on the inside. We got those. 
Where the frick are you, my guy? Whew. That's a good candy portion of the podcast. Holy cow. Oh, there's like peanuts in this, too. Mm-hmm. A little bit of peanut. Where the f- you at? I'm trying to find the guy that gave us uh, the candy in Arizona. Pato Snacks. That's what... Pato's... Snacks. Okay. So it's like duck snacks. That was delicious. He has like all the stuff. Like we can order some of that too, right? Yeah, we can. Oh, I, I think so. Can we? Did yeah. Ship available. Yeah, we can like go into their website. You know, let's order some of the the Skittles were my favorite. I don't know why. Like the Skittles and the uh, Gushers. You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna give it a follow. We don't really know where it's gonna go. Obviously, with the podcast, like I feel like we kind of the, the best thing is not planning too hard. I feel like not yeah. trying to say it's gonna be only candy reviews or whatever, but just kind of flowing with it. So I feel like. I mean, also, if you guys have anything you guys want us to talk about or like ask questions down mm-hmm. below, and we'll we'll answer it with our best answer. <laughs> Best answer. We'll give you a best answer that for that. Or we'll just give us some topic. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll do our research. We'll try our best, you know. But this isn't a perfect, you know, <laughs> written out podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's just gonna be we're gonna slap our ding dongs on the table and just call it it. Mm-hmm. Dang Rico, you fart, bro. You try that one. You haven't had one piece of candy yet. Bro, I haven't had this though. I don't know what this is. This is called Weenie's Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the name of it is just Weenies. Whoa. Is it like a cow tail? Damn. Is it like a spicy cow tail? Mm-hmm. No. Is it really? Oh, they're good as Oh my god. This might be better than cow tail. <laughs> rip it off. Give me a little rip. <sighs> Colin. Holy sh- That's good. Get your ass in here. Try this. Try this weenie thing. You might like this. This is like really freaking good. I mean, now it's kind of weird. The flavor's changing. Are you touching it? Is there another? There's probably another one. There's probably another one. Is that Laffy Taffy? It's, it's like Laffy Taffy. Like Taffy. Where is it? Well, Here's a different know. flavor of it. Is it like their version of Laffy Taffy? I don't I think know. So. Beer sucker? Dude, try the watermelon sucker. I want, a, I want a beer sucker. I had this one. That's the one I tried. Give us, give us your, your honest review. Here. Is this called the Weenus? Yeah, the <laughs> it's the Weenies. The weenies. <laughs> weenies dragon. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Try it, Rico. What are you doing? Hey, Rico's easy. I will say, like of everything, this is really good. The chocolate. This is like a eight out of ten. The watermelon lollipop is like a six out of ten. No, seven out of ten. What are your thoughts of the weenies? The flavor kind of changes. It is definitely like a taffy, but what is in the middle? I feel like it's like if someone stuffed a hot Cheeto in taffy. <laughs> is it supposed to be hot? No, it's just supposed to have like. A oh, whoa. Have a kick to it. It's kind so of. So hot? No, it's, a little, it's like a tiny. I've never had those, to be honest with you. Whoa. It got some different flavor, huh? Mm-hmm. It has like a kick at the end. It's pretty good. Uh, you still ate it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was better in the beginning, and then it's yeah, started more. Saying, over the course of the time, like I when you I eat it. I ate the end that had less hot, and then I ate the end with more hot. Is that? I give that one like a 6 oh, out of 10. Oh, no, not the... <laughs> Try it, dude. Try it. Have you ever had salt on watermelon? No. No. It's actually really good. Well, similar concept, I think. Just try uh, it. Except spice. I just bit into that thing. Yeah, just bite into it. Shut the f- up. Just bite Look, into I it. bit it right here. Oh, no. It's sweet Look. in the inside, brother. I swear. It, it, that's the thing. is When you get into it, it's more watermelon. Well, yeah, but how, I'm not just going to chomp my f- No, just on the side. Just a little bite. <laughs> when you just lick it, you only get the tahine. So I feel like you gotta bite it. They should have made that gummy. <laughs> just, hey, just take like a like a little nip. How? 
Uh-huh. You go home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when yeah, you bite it, that's exactly. what it's good. <laughs> that one, the weenus is uh, not my favorite. It's good. Yeah. The texture is like perfect. It's like a, it's like a laffy taffy. taffy. Never had it before, to be honest with you. The watermelon one, I think, is actually my favorite. I take it all back. That's uh, 8.7 out of 10. There, you know what's... There's a uh, there's mango ones and then there's like a a corn one, corn. Yeah, but it's it tastes like mango. I feel that like, sounds weird. I feel like Mexican candy is so creative. Yeah, like it's like I don't know, like everything in America is just like crazy. They just give sugar. you the cracked out sugar dye, red dye, everything. <laughs> and this is just like just make a watermelon with some. We should have got UK candy. What uh, are we doing? We should have. Damn, that's a mystery. <laughs> That's a mystery. <laughs> we'll, we'll let's order some and import it in because they have different stuff too. Because they can't, they don't have all the food dyes and stuff in the UK as no, the US. That's freaking crazy. Their skittles are weird. They are weird. You ordered them. You that. liked them enough to order those mugs. Hold up. Import them. Let me see if I can find the one I was talking about. Yeah, but I feel like Colin's right. Like the Mexican candies are like they take spins off of like. Even like I said, the gushers ones, they take a gusher and make it their own. Yeah. Like they just take an American candy and say, eh, where, the, where, where are you, mate? Oh, these are good too. What is that? Is that gummy? That's like a light stop lollipop. Sure. Se- sema, sema, oh. Damn. Sure. Light stop lollipop. Light stop. This is right Grab here, brother. Right here, right here, right here. This is the one. Elotes. Oh, is that caramel? No. It, that's the corn one? That's the corn, but it tastes like freaking mango. But it has tahini. It's literally like the watermelon one. But this one is better. It's by far. Uh, I'll try it. Let's continue this. Let's, I was. I thought I was done. Bro, we got plenty to freaking. You have too much candy here. Look at this. <laughs> this thing looks like a football. Let me talk into this. What is that one? <laughs> <laughs> What's the flavor? That one's spicier than the watermelon. <laughs> but take a bite at it. Ow! <laughs> it's a rock. That one Wait, is... Why is this like a corn? It's called elote, but just wait. It's good. That one's good. You got to get in. That's my complaint with this is that if you just lick it like a lollipop, you you're only straight. getting the tahini. Yeah. You All have right. to bite it. This is a light stop lollipop review. Damn. This one's normal. That one looks it's like something just, that I can't say. It's just a sucker. It doesn't have nothing. <laughs> it looks like beads. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks like some. Damn, he just that said that. No, the man said pizza. I was like, dude, why'd you say that? Uh, <laughs> uh, can I like twist one of these off? Tell me the flavors of what you're tasting. Yeah, but it's gonna have like the little, little, little stick in it. Is that cherry? Cherry. Oh, give me the cherry flavor. I gotta try it. What is the. Let me see if I can find another one. This is like a triple pom pom. Comment down below your favorite candy flavor. Mine, cherry. Colin, what's your favorite artificial? Blue raspberry? Cherry? Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Also like grape. What the f? Luis, what's your favorite candy flavor? Candy flavor? Mm hmm. Blue raspberry. Yeah. Dang. Oh, these are really good too. Damn, that's a big these. sack. I hate these. Oh, I've had these. Those are nasty. What are they called? Uh, huevos. Oh, these are just nuts. No, they're not. Trust me. Corn oh, they're licorice. Yup. Oh, they're licorice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yucky, <laughs> yucky. Like, huh? Is like red licorice or black licorice? Black licorice. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> black licorice. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. I'm about to, to put this on the table. It's too much to freaking look through. Uh, oh, take over, brother. Excuse me. Yeah, this podcast going off the rails real quick. You heard? That's the dream. <coughs> this triple dum dum is interesting. Oh, is that banana? Shite. I see these. These are at the uh, gas station. I don't want to see it because I'll ruin it. Pol- Polparindo. There you go. Oh, what is, nuts. What are cellos? Is that calories? Cellos? I want a corn. <gasps> oh, my corn. Okay, so... It's corn. 
This is what it looks like. No one can see it, but it looks like a brown Laffy Taffy. <laughs> too much going on now. What is that? What does that mean? That is spicy, dude. It's really good. Those are really good. Is this like toffee? It's They're really good. Tangerine? No. I feel like my palate is so horrible. Like every time it, I taste something like this, I think mango. It's I just dried say, fruit. Yeah, like oh mango. Wait, let me let me let me. <clears throat> that ain't it for me. <laughs> Ooh, it's spicy, man. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna try the corn knob. Oh, I just freaking bit my lip. <laughs> oh, Steve gets those things whole. He eats those things out of the shell. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this corn knob time? has more seasoning than a. Why does Rico look so sad? Rico's like, y'all are eating, but I can't have any. Dude, you might miss me with this corn knob. The corn knob is mango on the inside. But it's, it's like hard to bite. <laughs> Dude, I might. This is just caramel, right? Dude, it's like. It's, it's, we are getting. Those are like almost cow tails. These are called La, Vig La Vaquita Rolls. Yeah. Those are cow tails. Mexican cow tails. So this is. <clears throat> Luis is not in the mic, but he's saying these are like cow tails. What here. does va Vaquita mean? Oh yeah, that's a cow tail. <laughs> that's just a chewy caramel. That's good. Mm. That's real good. See, that tastes like an American candy, like you're saying, like just sugar. I like this one. This is the first one, mm -hmm. the Torito. Like it has like, you can like lick the top and it's like fizzy spice, not spice, but. And the bottom is like mango sweet. Yeah. All right. Last one. Is this the same thing? Wait. Is it chewy? Dude, that Torito is not it. Pica fresca. Pica fresca. That's strawberry. Oh. Is, this a strawberry is there a spice too? on this? Yeah, on the outside. I feel like I've had too much spice with my, my sugar. <laughs> We need like a food angle. I feel bad for the people watching right now. And if there's anyone listening, this is an interesting segment. Um, yeah, this is a sugar ball. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. Holy cow, those are good. <clears throat> That's disgusting. How is it disgusting? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it just put like a hole in my stomach. Yeah, I'm getting a burn. I might be blowing out the toilet later, but those are good. You know what these I feel like a warmth in my throat. <laughs> Dude, I might... <laughs> I like that. I think, I mean, overall, Mexican candy is a strong 8 or 9 out of 10 for me. Because they take, like I said, they take things that seem recognizable to me, like taffy or something like that. And then they add like a little bit of spice to it. Yeah. 80% oh of it is pretty much spice. Yeah. Like there's so much tahine on everything. Yeah. I feel like. And it's really good. Luckily, I like tahine, but I feel like Colin don't like it. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> no, but I think there's a... There's still quite amount of candy in there to oh, yeah, try we, and test out. We just kind of were at the tip of the iceberg of that thing. We can save that for another day. Some more yeah, uh, yeah. candy try. And candy try taste recall. test. You know what we should do? Grab the Wheel of Ideal and have like different countries and then spin <laughs> and, then, and whatever lands try the candy or food from Yeah. There. Like if we have like whatever food, where, wherever we have food from, we add it to the wheel. Yeah. And then spin and try to find like just whatever we land on, we got to try. But you no. do that for a lot of stuff. Yo, definitely. You could do that for topics. You could do that for whatever. We want to try to post 
one of these a week. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Because, again, we're sitting down for maybe an hour or whatever. I feel like if what we're doing is not, like, taking away from, you know, our main job, which is editing and yeah. producing good, good content, it feels like a nice little break just to kind of talk and try some candy. Maybe during, like, a lunch break we do one of these things and try some candy, talk about what's going on, what we're working on. And, uh, yeah, I feel like it's definitely doable to do one of these a week. Uh and just give the people a little bit of an update. We're already sitting around talking about shit. Might as well do it here. Might as well do it on the podcast and kind of keep the people updated while we're doing it. But I mean, what's cool is like, we're not restricted to like, like I said, like to one topic. Like this is just a random podcast. We'll have candy that test out food and then we'll just talk random shit. If we do find like one topic, we'll talk about that topic, but we're not, you know, just straight into one topic or one genre and just... It's just a random ass podcast <laughs> channel. We appreciate you guys watching. Whoever's watching, that one viewer, mm -hmm. we appreciate it. Shout out to you. Leave a like, comment, you know, click that notification bell. Keep posted. But other than that. Yeah, shout out you guys for being the first viewers of the Candy Shop Pod. We'll see you guys next time. Muchas gracias. Peace out. Bye.